So in the previous video we looked at how to write um, text information into a file and I had my uh, tuple of students here and I did it by looping through and writing them into the file uh, one at a time. But what would happen if I want to put that whole list in the file in one go or indeed any other data structure such as a dictionary? Um, let's have a look. So if I try and do f.write um, students, so if I try and just stick the tuple in as a whole and we run that program, what happens? Well, it tells us that it doesn't like it. It wants a string, not a tuple. Okay, so, well, can we cast that? What happens if we try and do this? So string um, student. Let's run that. Okay, well, it's done something, so let's have a look. So it has put all of that information in. It's turned my tuple into a string. However, if I was to read that back, it would be a little bit fiddly to convert that back into uh, a list or a tuple because that's just text. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to trim the brackets off and then I'd have to um, chop it up at the comma and then that would still give me, if I used split, it would give me a string but all the names would have the apostrophes inside um, speech marks. So we then have to go through and trim those off as well. Um, so there's probably a better way to do it. So let's have a look at um, how we can go about that using something called pickle. So pickle is a library and we can import pickle. And what pickle does is it allows us to save a variety of different data structures into a file. However, they're no longer text files. So what we want need to do is we need to add a B here to say that we're writing a binary file. And when we read it back, we need to have RB to um, to read in that binary file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to stick it at the end. So when I open it, so I'm going to write the information to the file and then I'm going to read it back as a demonstration. So uh, this might be a separate program or later on in the same program in your uh, bigger project. Um, so to write that information, instead of using f.write, uh, what I use is uh, pickle.dump so that's the command for writing to a file. Then I say what I want to, to dump, what I'm sticking in the file, which in this case is my student uh, tuple, and then which file it is. So F, um, I'm opening in the same way as normal, except I've got the B in there. So F, I've opened. So that, what that's going to do is that's going to stick that information in that file. So in fact, to tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, comment that line out. Um, I'm also going to give this a different extension so it creates a different file. So when I run this now it's going to create a file called students.p and it's going to put in it the uh, information from that student tuple. Okay so it doesn't look like it's done anything but we can see the file has appeared and if I click on that file we can see it looks like it's probably got the information in it. So how do we get that information back out? Well, to get that information back out, I'm going to open the file again, but this time for reading. And I'm going to um, use load. So load is the pickle command. So I'm going to say contents equals, so I'm going to have to store um, the information that I've read from the file somewhere. I'm going to store it in this variable. Um, so contents is equal to, uh, let's say pickle.load. And then I just need to load the information from the file. So again, let's not um, forget to close that file. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to print uh, contents, just so we can see that that's done the trick. So what this is going to do, it's going to save that tuple into a file, and then it's going to read it back. Okay, so um, it doesn't like that, so well, what's wrong with that? It's the wrong name. Okay, so now we can see that it was trying to use uh, pickle to open my text file uh, as a binary file and read from that. So obviously that wasn't going to work. So I'm going to uh, read that now as a binary file. It's loaded it in and it's printed it and you can see that it looks okay, doesn't it? So let's have a look at what type that is because when we saved it, the information into the text file, it looked the same, didn't it? It looked like that but it was text. So let's just check uh, what this has actually done. So let's have a look at the type of contents. And it's telling us that the 
the type of contents is a tuple. So we've read a tuple into the file, and when it's come back, it's come back as a tuple. So if you're doing anything more complex than just reading a kind of list of names or something like that into a text file, it's certainly worth considering pickle uh, for things like lists, tuples, and dictionaries, so you get back what you put into the file without having to mess about using list comprehension, trimming out commas and speech marks and the like.